Verse 13, Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, This is John the Beloved, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Two meanings to this, who die in the Lord. There is one death that is physical and there is another one that is self-death. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on because the trials are going to be so hard later on in this century. There will be Christians who will be killed. There will be a time of martyrdom. Those who will say no to the system, those who will say no to Satan, they will also face death. So some will be killed and these people, the number of these people is chosen by the Lord Jesus. He's got a certain number that people will die just like there was martyrdom in the early Christianity there will be martyrdom at the end of Christianity. Christianity began with martyrdom, will end with martyrdom. So blessed are those who die in the Lord physically. Blessed are you when you are killed for the sake of Christ. For the sake of Christ, I will face death and not deny my faith. Because there will be times coming, people will be tested they will come and say deny your jesus and will give you life which one are you going to choose life outside of christ or are you going to die for his sake i'm not scaring you but read history so many people in the millions were killed for the sake of the lord throughout the centuries so blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on because from now on is the great tribulation which is coming the great tribulation when it comes it will cover the entire globe so there will be martyrdom on the other hand blessed are you to die in the Lord meaning dying to your old person in order to live in Christ. Blessed are you to die in the Lord. To die in the Lord meaning I live not I any longer but Christ living in me. This is dying in the Lord. In other words, I will not do things my way anymore. I will not behave my way anymore. I will not dress up my way anymore. I will do everything. I will say everything Christ's way, no longer me. Me is dead. I am dead in the Lord for Christ to live in me fully. Who is a saint? A saint is the person who died to their old person and allowed Christ to live in them. The more we let go of our own egos, of our, of our own way of thinking and way of living, the more Christ will be glorified in us. The more I diminish, the more I deny myself, like John the Baptist, exactly the way he said it to those who approached him. He said, I need to decrease. He, meaning Jesus, he needs to increase because he is the groom I am the groom's best man the wedding is not about me the wedding is about the groom who is Christ I'm just his best man when I hear the voice of the groom I rejoice I am his voice he is the logos and the logos was with God from the beginning and the logos was God he is God I'm nothing but a piece of dust that's why I need to decrease, I need to die in order for Christ to live in me. 
Blessed are those who die in the Lord. Blessed are you when you do things Christ's way, not your way. I'm going to church, I'm not going to the club. I don't want to swear anymore. I want to praise the Lord. I don't want to lie. I want to live in the light. I want to speak the truth. I don't want to live my way. My way is poison. I've tried it for so many years. What happened? I hurt myself. I hurt my family. I hurt the people that love me. I hurt them. I want to live for Christ. From this moment onward, I am dead because Christ is the one who is living in me. I'm dead. Blessed are those who die in Christ. Who die in the Lord. Then you are alive. And on this point, if anyone says there is no saints, they are dead, then he is talking as a dead corpus. And let me ask you this. Is there anyone in Christ and dead? Isn't Christ the source of life? How can you be a member in the body of Christ and you claim to be dead? <laughs> That's a very contradictive and a very offensive statement to say about the Lord. Those who live in Christ are the ones who are truly living.